So if you're at all like me, surely you have recognized that the reality on this thing, swipe, 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 is just not the same reality that's out there. Everything that you're sold on what's happening on this thing just doesn't seem like it's actually happening out there in the real world. It just doesn't. You walk out your front porch and shit's fine. And guess what? Here's the conspiracy. Shit is probably going to continue to be fine. We're moving into this new age right now where we require new leaders. Because don't get me wrong, the current leaders, they're cool. They like helped, you know, get the ball moving. But I don't know about you, man, but when I scroll on this thing and in search of spiritual information, you see all the common characters, you see the regular folks. And I just can't help but think that it's all, it's all the same thing over and over and over again in different slight and subtle tweaks find your your sense of self love yourself just tap back into the source of your own creation none of it's unique and if it's interesting when you think about it none of it's actually to the heart or to the depths of what actually we could be talking about right now which is what the fuck is reality and why are we even here right i think that that question it slips up a lot of people for some reason because it's like we get so caught up into our own narrative our own story our own condition it's like we forget that our self is currently animating this experience at a rate of change on the millisecond level constantly rendering our reality and we just like forget our involvement within that process and get so caught up in the story of what's happened to us or where we want to go where we are now we get manipulated by inconsistent thought streams that don't have a logical end. And so we require something new in the spiritual community. We require something that is real, something that is like, I don't know, tells the truth. We require new leaders. You know, I don't know about you, man, but when I was growing up and I had spiritual mentors that I thought were valuable at the time, what they would always tell me was basically this, only you know. No one else can tell you the answer. Only you will find the answer and no one else can tell you. Find your sense of self-love and your connection to source. And all that stuff to me is the shit that I see is just crumbling down. And it's like that's all they had to offer. They didn't really have anything else to say other than that. And I was dumb enough to not question that. And I was also dumb enough to see like, oh wow, it's so profound. Wow, you must know everything because you told me some profound thing that basically means nothing. I'll tell you what, man, the more that I know, the more I know I don't know. But also, the more I know, the more I know some shit that you probably should know. And I think that we're moving into this new landscape where we embrace this radical truth telling of everything. Spirituality and your sense of self is found through doing, not through being, not through embracing the silence, but embracing what you're capable of. It's not found in meditation or just trying to release your trauma. It's found in rewriting and re-imprinting over top of things that you were previously afraid of, but now you can do because you did it. This whole spirituality, divine this, divine that, superior, supreme bullshit, it just is a resemblance of a face in order to try to like understand their purpose but it's something that's so much more deeper than all of that and something so much more complex and interesting. And I think that personally, we're gonna be going down that direction as opposed to the simplification of the journey of self, which is currently the trajectory we're on.